Chapter 7, A World of Home Peppa landed softly on her bed. She looked around and saw that she was in her world of home. There were her toys and books, her clothes and shoes, her pictures and drawings, and more. She felt a cozy blanket on her body and a fluffy pillow under her head. She smelled the familiar aroma of her room and the delicious smell of dinner. She heard the voices of her family and the laughter of her friends. She smiled and said, Wow, this is amazing. This is my world of home. She got up and ran to the door. She opened it and saw Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig waiting for her. They hugged her and kissed her. Peppa, we're so happy to see you. We missed you so much, Mummy Pig said. Peppa, we're so proud of you. You had such a wonderful adventure, Daddy Pig said. Peppa saw George standing behind them. He ran to her and hugged her too. Peppa, I love you. You are the best sister in the world, George said. Peppa realized that George was wearing the same dress as her. It was a pink dress with white polka dots and a matching bow on his head. She said, George, you look so funny. Why are you wearing my dress? George said, because I wanted to be like you. You are so brave and smart and fun. Peppa laughed and said, George, you are so sweet. But you don't have to wear my dress to be like me. You are perfect just the way you are. She looked at the magic rainbow in her hands and remembered that it was the one that brought her here. She said, oh, yes. This is the magic rainbow. It must have brought me here to show me how much I love my home. She looked at the rainbow again and noticed that it was fading even more. The colors were becoming dimmer and dimmer. She said, oh, no. The rainbow is losing its magic even more. I have to make one last wish before it disappears completely. She thought about what she wanted to wish for last. She said, I wish I could thank the magic rainbow for this amazing adventure. I want to say goodbye to it. As soon as she said that, she felt another warm sensation in her hands. She saw that the rainbow was glowing again. She heard the same voice in her ear. Your wish is granted, Peppa. The magic rainbow is listening to you, the voice said. Peppa felt another pull and everything around her became blurry again. She screamed as she felt herself flying through the air again. She looked down and saw that she was leaving her home behind. She saw Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig, George, and everything else getting smaller and smaller as she soared higher and higher into the sky. She looked up and saw that she was heading towards another rainbow that appeared in the clouds. It was different from the previous ones. It had no colors or shapes or letters or numbers at all. It was a rainbow of nothing. She felt a chill of sadness as she approached it. She entered the rainbow and felt a burst of nothing around her again. She saw nothing, felt nothing, heard nothing. She cried and said, goodbye, magic rainbow. Thank you for this amazing adventure. You are the best friend I ever had. She reached the end of the rainbow and saw nothing waiting for her. It was nothing at all. But then, something happened. The magic rainbow appeared again in front of her eyes. It was bright and colorful as before. It smiled at her and said, Hello, Peppa. You're welcome for this amazing adventure. You are the best friend I ever had too. Peppa gasped and said, Magic rainbow? Is that you? How did you come back? The magic rainbow said, I came back because I wanted to give you one last gift. A gift that will make you happy forever. Peppa said. What is it? What is your gift? The magic rainbow said. My gift is, your friends. As soon as it said that, Peppa saw Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit, Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Zoe Zebra, Emily Elephant, Freddy Fox, Kylie Kangaroo, Wendy Wolf, Gerald Giraffe, Molly Mull, Delphine Donkey, Belinda Bear, Simon Squirrel, Gabriella Goat, Edmund Elephant Jr., Richard Rabbit Jr., Zuzu Zebra Jr., Zaza Zebra Jr., George's Dinosaur Jr., Peppa's Teddy Jr., Mr. Potato Jr., Madame Gazelle Jr., 
Santa Claus Jr., The Queen Jr., Mr. Bull Jr., Miss Rabbit Jr., Mr. Rabbit Jr., Mrs. Rabbit Jr., Dr. Brown Bear Jr., Nurse Fox Jr., Mr. Fox Jr., Mrs. Fox Jr., Mummy Pig Jr., Daddy Pig Jr., and George Jr., flying towards her from the rainbow. They were all wearing the same dress as Peppa and George. It was a pink dress with white polka dots and a matching bow on their heads. They all shouted, Peppa, we're here. We're here to join your adventure. Peppa was overjoyed and said, My friends, you're here. You're here to join my adventure. She hugged them all and said, I'm so happy to see you all. You are the best friends in the world. They all said, We're so happy to see you too. You are the best friend in the world too. The magic rainbow said, Peppa, these are your friends. They are here to stay with you forever. They will never leave you or forget you. They will always love you and support you. They will always make you laugh and smile. They will always share your dreams and hopes. They will always be your friends. Peppa said, Magic Rainbow, thank you so much. This is the best gift ever. I love you so much. The Magic Rainbow said, Peppa, you're welcome so much. I love you so much too. They all smiled and laughed as they enjoyed the moment. They wondered where the Magic Rainbow would take them next and what kind of adventure they would have there. They hoped that it would be an adventure that would last forever. They reached the end of the story and saw a happy ending waiting for them. It was a happy ending for all.